everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very important episode of CSGO News. And first off, I do want to get into our first story, guys, about CSGO community scams. I first want to do an overview of every single CSGO scam out there in terms of a file. Actually, for all of you guys, I'm sure many of you probably know a friend or a family member or maybe even yourselves who have been scammed in the CSGO community. Over the past two years, we have seen a drastic increase in a variety of scams out there. And some of them are actually quite intricate and very, very sneaky. So I want to get to share you guys actually a community file someone made out there, one of your own community members, has actually given us a file going in depth of every single CSGO community scam out there that has been done to date and so if you guys ever feel like you're in an untrustful situation ever feel like you might be being scammed you guys can go to the shared community file which will be linked down below for good you guys can click on that and actually see whether you're being uh, used for a scam as of right now so also on top of that I do want to touch on one of the most important one of the most widely used scams as of right now has been the OP skin scam in the last week alone I've had countless Twitter messages and people on my own steam friends list have been scammed by this multiple times and what it is it's actually a variety of methods out there one of them being where OP skins fake moderators will actually add you on steam They'll contact you and actually direct you to a fake OP skins link. You'll you'll then send them a trade offer because they offer you a great price for one of your items. And of course, you're sending that offer. What you think is an OP skins bot is actually directly to their account. There's also several modifications of this. I heard some guy say that a moderator actually added him, offered him a nice price for his knife, and then had him download a Chrome add-on, which of course you never should do. But of course, a lot of these people out there are ki our kids or children or younger people are very influential, and so of course he did it. And once he had the add-on downloaded, it actually made that link look like an official OP skins website so please be careful out there also go to OP skins main website guys they have this posted as well they're warning their users there are several scam sites out there so please be careful everyone and if it's if it's too good to be true the overall rule guys it is too good to be true but also more important news and I see some funny news out there many of you guys are aware of a long time ago a couple weeks ago with the immortal situation where KNG was making several threats out there and in the end we also had some backlash from the immortals organization they actually fired this guy on screen that was their social media guy after he tweeted out this a very hilarious tweet if you guys got the reference there to KNG's original tweet where he was tweeting at FNS and he said prove it or I'll kill you so kind of a funny joke he made there and then of course Immortals actually replied to that tweet saying this is very un un uh, not really willing behavior we shouldn't have actually had this happen and they went on and actually fired the guy now there was speculation afterwards if someone would actually hire him back as their own social media guy and it has been cloud nine to rehire the guy who actually made that joke tweet so kind of a funny story there and congrats to him and hopefully this time he won't mess up and say some things he shouldn't be saying now on top of that even more importantly for all you Immortal fans out there it does seem we will have a new organization hosting those Immortals players who are apparently leaving the organization and it will include of course Lucas, Henny, KNG alongside that FNX and a Team 1 member by the name of Bit. There's also several other Brazilian players out there who could be a part of that lineup but it does seem they will be going to Team Echo Fox. This is actually rumored by Richard Lewis, Moses, other, other leaguers out there have actually said as a possibility Echo Fox to return to the CSGO scene and actually buy these guys out. Of course it would be a very large buyout but Echo Fox is one of those few North American rosters right now in organizations alongside NRG who actually have celebrity backing and investment that actually probably could put forth that large amount of money to buy out these guys. We of course also had Lucas tweet out this saying the roster was finalized. So as of right now going forward we're going to assume the two brothers Henny and Lucas are going to be together alongside KNG and FNX. As of right now though their fifth member is kind of up in the air. The highest speculation does point toward a team one member known as Bit. Kind of funny though because the current Immortals roster I'm sure many of you guys are aware about. They actually tried to buy out some team one players. Some controversy there is apparently team one had no buyout or their buyouts were actually way too high for their two members. I think it was TRK and Maluk who those Immortals members actually wanted to buy out. But the team one organization did not sell them because apparently their buyouts were just way too high and Immortals were not willing to pay that. They of course went with Destiny and alongside that Horvy to finish out that roster. So it's going to be cool to see if they actually allow this new roster of apparently going to Echo Fox to buy out a Team 1 member when they didn't let the Immortals roster buy out a player. So we'll see what happens guys, who their fit member is going to be in the future. But alongside that, other rumors out there and some speculation for all you Kiyoshima fans out there, I myself being one of them, I'm a huge fan of players out there who have been kind of unfairly treated if you might say because he's been kicked from several teams after clearly not being the problem here. I think Kiyoshima uh, sometime soon will be joining a team and there was more proof to that guys as I play you a stream clip as of right now. He was talking to his girlfriend on stream, actually apparently got a message and here's what he had to say. You can't read it. So you can clearly see whatever he got from his phone or from his message, he actually said, okay, you cannot say this on stream. Usually we know this as the common theme. If you cannot say it on stream, it must be some kind of business or some kind of business agreement here. So hopefully a new team for Kiyoshima coming sometime soon, maybe Envious. I would love to see that, guys. But on top of that, he also knuckle. He also, I almost said fisted his girl. He also gave her the knuckles, which means probably a good deal coming sometime soon, hopefully for Kiyoshima. And also very excitingly announced by the CSGO dev just last night, guys. We do apparently have a new Dust 2, of course, the Dust 2 remake coming sometime soon. Who knows what that means, though? In 
in, in terms of Valve's terms, this could be next month or a year from now. But apparently, sometime soon in a, in a beta update, we will have the CS:GO 2 remake being released for all of us to play on, and off, obviously offer some changes to the scene. They only offer a few pictures there, actually one picture of the Dust 2 remake. So hopefully, gonna be a very very cool thing to see, and I hope all of the community actually enjoys this, and maybe someday soon as well after it does come back, we'll be seeing the return of Dust 2 to the competitive scene, and hopefully replacing one of those other maps out there. So now on to our very last story, which I I want you guys all to comment down below about. I just want to show one scoreline for all of you and really want to ask you guys to comment down below what do you guys think about this? Is it Virtus Pro or is it Virtus Blow? Being beat in the ESA Premier, many of you guys know about this, they were offered a relegation spot here to actually try and qualify for next season of ESL Pro League. They lost to Team Jalapeno. Jalapeno. Arguably one of the cooler teams, cooler team logos out there, but still, what is happening to Virtus Pro? I don't care whether this team was a former uh, composed roster of Red Reserve, whoever they were, guys, they are clearly not supposed to be competing with Virtus Pro and taking a map off them. And I'm not even sure how to end this episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode of CSGO News. I will see you guys all tomorrow with more CSGO News. Some interesting news coming from Astralis, alongside that, some other breaking stories. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you all next time. Remember, I like you.